said, let's move on to our last topic of the day. Uh, Matt Miller jumped in and said, uh, I wish people would actually read Fangio's whole statement. It was actually really good. I will admit, I haven't read Fangio's statement yet. Um, I did see something on Twitter about, uh, uh, can you can you brief it for me? Yeah, well, no, I mean, so he, he had an unbelievable statement. In his statement, he said, in the NFL, we don't have racism. We work together one-on-one, side-by-side, black and white, and we're a family, and, and we work out our problems and all this stuff, and we just don't have racism. Then, but he said a million other things that were unbelievable up to that point. And then he gets crushed by so many other people, none of which have ever played or coached under him, okay? Yeah. Players of other teams that say racism's absolutely rampant in the NFL. We do have a problem with it. You need to shut your mouth and, and stop speaking out of turn. And he came out today and apologized and said, look, I, I take it back. I didn't know because I didn't see – I never see these things. But – I should have known that not every place is ran like all the places that I've been employed at and worked in, all this other stuff. Yeah. So, and, and I'm certain a lot of the racism that they're talking about is the blackballing of Colin Kaepernick. I mean, that's oh, yes. that's a that's a big part of it. And Fangio was a part of that organization to think that you were in a bubble and you didn't know that that was being happened. Now, a you were a coordinator at the time. Nobody is calling you to see are you interested in bringing this guy on. You a coach defense and b I don't even know that offensive coordinators would have been asked. This was an owner, GM, head coach conversation, nobody else. Yes. Um, and, and so he wouldn't have been privy to those things anyway. But you kind of had to know, that guy can probably play in this league over some of the guys that we've got, <laughs> and he's not getting a look. Something's happening. Yeah. No, you're you're 100% right. Uh, so he just walked it back. I don't, I don't, I don't blame – I think some of these coaches, and we talk about this, they don't live in the real world. They don't see the real world. They are so isolated from everything, and it's not because of their money in the NFL or the college, by the way. it's These guys really do work 120 hours a week, 52 days a week a year. It, they, they just never stop. And, and so when they finally do stop and they kind of see the world around them, I, I think there's some culture shock to them all the time. Oh, agreed. Agreed. Uh, well, the, the Fangio conversation leads into uh, Drew Brees, and it's it, it's why it, now, maybe more than ever, it, you just kind of have to be careful with what you say. I don't want I don't want anybody to ever not be honest about what their what their thoughts are. But uh, Drew Brees today came out and said, uh, "I will never agree with anybody disrespecting the flag of the United States of America or our country." He said that. In response to a question about kneeling during the national anthem, he said it was disrespectful. Uh, while you know all of that stuff goes on, obviously we've talked about the Colin Kaepernick stuff and whatnot. I, I've I've made my thoughts known years ago, however long ago that was. Um, it now is probably not the right time to be discussing this, especially with a Yahoo Finance person that that you're doing an interview with, right? Um, now, th- th- that Yahoo person has the right to ask that question. Yeah, Because no, that absolutely. question is going to come up. He's got to come up with a better answer than just saying, I, I, just, just say I'd rather not talk about that now. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not answering it because you know how it's going to go. Well, here's, here's what ended up coming out of this. Um, when he responded to it, uh, he now this was with Yahoo Finance's Dan Roberts. Yep. Um, Bree said the silent protest is inappropriate, even in light of social unrest sparked by the death of George Floyd. Um, you know, he... All of this stuff happened, and then Emmanuel Sanders uh, came out and said that uh, this was ignorant. Yep. And his teammate Michael Thomas came out and said he don't know no better. Um, I mean, it's just it, – and, and Michael Thomas ended up saying a whole lot more stuff than just That's that. Right. But, you know, LeBron James came out and, and said – you know, this is why. Like, do you understand now, or is it still blurred to you? Like, you are going to be attacked for these things. You, you got to be smart about it's, this. And, but and here's the deal, and don't though. Just I, think, I get we can reasonable people can disagree on a lot of things. Okay. Yes. My my frustration when the whole kneeling thing happened with my family, my friends, and people I associate with that were in uproar of the kneels. All right, just absolutely appalled by the kneeling. My 
it was one thing that I continued to argue with them about constantly because there are some things we can disagree on and walk away. There are other things that I care enough about you. I want, I know that we disagree. I care enough about you that I want to change your mind on it. I yeah. really want to change your mind on it. And my argument hasn't always, I said it the day after he knelt, we did a show and I said it then. I don't think there's anything more patriotic than standing for the national anthem, singing my heart out, whatever, other than seeing somebody express their freedom to not do that. Yeah. That's, that's what makes America great because there's a place called China down the road that if you speak ill of, of their government, they lock you in a hole. Yeah. And, and, and they, and they throw away the key. This is it. They just kill you. North Korea say that there are places in the world where you don't have that freedom. And we do. And for us to worship this piece of cloth, that's not a disrespect to the, to the soldiers, to those who came before and those who come again. That's not disrespectful to them. It's not. It has nothing to do with the soldiers that are fighting for our country right now. Yes, I'm against what's going on. And it and it just I understand the 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 black players frustration with Breeze because I just think that and this is my opinion, it's not the official opinion of our show or anything. This is my opinion. No, I, I I'm I'm gonna side with you on this. But I like, just I, I had don't a different understand opinion the worship when it first of a piece of cloth. That cloth does not identify who we are. It, the police department in Cincinnati took down the American flag and put up a thin blue line American flag. And not one red-blooded member of my family who supports all law enforcement and Blue Lives Matter and all this other stuff, not one of them are appalled by that. They changed the flag. They took it down and put up their own flag. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's okay. But kneeling, because in every sign of history, every sign of history, Kneeling is nothing but showing honor and humility. Nobody has ever knelt to to demean or 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 undermine somebody or something. Never, never in history has it happened. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. The king yes. stands, and what does he demand? That you kneel. It's in sign of reverence. What? They just don't agree with what's happening, and and they have a right to not agree with it. Kneeling's fine. Yeah, I, I think I'm never going to get off right. that soapbox. I just can't. And that's that is totally fine. And I like I am looking at it through a whole different light now than I used to. I looked at it from a capitalistic point of view beforehand. Right, my viewpoint was uh, it was at his place of work. Right, at, yeah. if the NFL does not want you to do this, you don't do this. You do it on your own platform. Uh, other people don't get in trouble or posting out on Twitter or, you know, holding press conferences outside of the NFL locker room, et cetera. Um, but I, I think, you know, at this point, yeah, uh, I didn't understand things before. I, I think I'm kind of starting to, maybe, but I'm, I'm just, it's the tip of the iceberg, right? No. And like, we I don't understand friends, everything. I'm never going to understand. vehemently disagree with us on this. And that's okay. Yeah. We can, we can disagree on these things, but it's one of the things that if you, if you try to publicly disagree with me about, instead of agreeing to disagree, I'm going to continue to to push the ins- information because I need you to get enough information to where I really think you should change your opinion. That, that, I don't feel that way about a lot of things, but worshiping a piece of cloth is not what made us our country. Our country was great before that piece of cloth was ever made. Yes. Okay. Yes. The same values that make us great are still here today. We just have to start believing them and yes. stop looking for symbols. Yes, you're right. Uh, the chat is blowing up. Let's go ahead and hit right. some of these. Okay. Damien said athletes need to lose their Fifth Amendment at some point, um, right? A certain point. Matt Miller said the kneeling was about police brutality, not the military. But Kaepernick was never about that, in my opinion. He made money off of it, for God's sake. Uh, Ali and Jabbar lost a lot of money for actual change. Yeah, I don't think anybody's trying to compare Colin Kaepernick to uh, Ali. to Muhammad Ali, you know, no. or or Kareem Abdul Jabbar at that, no. you know. Uh, Drew knew what he was uh, going to. Excuse me, Ben said Drew knew what was going to happen. He was giving an honest opinion and saying what he believes, and and I am all for that, a hundred percent. 
I just um, wanted to change his mind. That's all. I, it, I, that as well as uh, if you're going to come out with with these kind of things, maybe wait uh, until it's a little less volatile. Like that's that's yeah. my only. Or you have to be ready for the backlash. You were yeah. honest, and, and if you're, other people if you're are ready be for it, with you. Yeah, if you're ready for it, then okay. Yeah. But who, are you okay with it? If you can go in that locker room and still lead that locker room, then then I don't have a problem with it. Uh, Matt Miller said, also, kneeling is nice to bring attention, but he did nothing to actually act as an activist because he's unwilling to sit down with the other side and talk. That's how you make real change. Now, that part I will agree with because he he did not want to sit down with the other side. He did not want yeah, to all that my, kind of mess. My whole but, issue is we, we stick all of Kaepernick's flaws on onto this issue. Right. And a lot of other men in the NFL knelt. Okay. Yeah. A lot of other ones did. We we can't say well because Kaepernick is massively flawed, which he is. Th- th- then 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 this whole thing is moot. That that's not that's not okay. I will say this: he did he he has made money off of this. Yeah, that's totally fine. But to say that he uh, he did nothing to actually act as an activist, uh, the man oh, he's has donated, donated a lot a of, money, of money, and he's done a lot of yeah, things. He's done a lot. He has done a lot. And so, unless you dig to look for him, you won't know about it because yeah. it's just not getting covered a lot. No, he's he is out of the media's eye for the most part until something like this happens. Because and then why? People in the NFL, yeah. Why would the news media cover anything that's good? No, that's right. That's right. They want to wait and see it until it's burning before they before they talk about it. You got it. Uh, Damien said, "What Vic Vangio said is total BS. If there isn't racism." In the NFL, why did Miles Garrett get a hard punishment and Rudolph didn't? And why isn't Kaepernick playing but Big Ben is? Well, uh, because they didn't find that Rudolph did anything wrong. Um, you know, <laughs> like that, this isn't exactly apples and uh, and apples here. I mean, we're we're talking about two completely different things. Uh, I I don't think that that's racism. I don't think. Punishing Miles Garrett instead of Mason Rudolph is racism. Uh, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong here. Do you? No, I'm okay with that. I mean, listen, I, I you know how I feel about Miles. I love the man. I love the man. I, I hitting somebody in the face with a helmet's tough. Yes, it's tough look for my guy. I can't. I don't know what else to say. And and you know, I, I don't. I'm not saying Mason didn't say the word. So, but at the same time, we don't have any proof that he did. You can't punish him. Without without any kind of proof, yeah. and getting his ass knocked off is pretty good punishment. I think. I think so. I, I mean, I kind of grew up in that world. You say something crazy, you get hit for saying something crazy. You don't get beat up the rest of your life for saying it. You got your ass whooped that one time, and yeah. okay, yeah, there you we go. don't have to be friends. But you know, I'm not gonna beat you up every day. Ben said, "Crab legs is gonna take Drew's spot." No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it, I can't live in that world. I just can't. I, I just can't live in that world. Uh, I, I won't handle that well emotionally at all. If that yeah. happens. Uh, Matt Miller said, uh, or, or he should still be in the league. By the way, I don't, I don't know who. Yeah. What that Kaepernick, I'm sure. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, my my thought on Kaepernick was that the league stuff was it had nothing to do with um, with with the kneeling and all that kind of mess. I don't think oh, it's it had 100 percent to do with the kneeling. I I think. If he was, no, I had 100 percent doing the if, if his talent outweighed the issue, no. But yeah, then, you're saying that if yes, if he was elite, if he was elite, there's no way they would have kept him. But saying he's not elite is irrelevant to the fact that is he one of the best 35 quarterbacks in the NFL? 100. percent He hadn't played in four years, and he's better than half the Jamokes that are out there right now. You might be right. I don't know. I mean, Cam Newton can't find a job, so. Yeah, no, no, not being able to find a job is different. We don't know that Cam Newton's not demanded $20 million a year. Now, you, you're right. And, that, and I'll tell you, we got to that point with Cap, okay? Yeah, because Cap I, wants I more money. I backed off the Kaepernick thing because I do believe that he was offered a contract in Seattle, and he, he chose not to take it. And therefore, they rescinded the offer and said, there's never been an offer, and we just brought him in and talked to him. They couldn't get the money right. I think he wants starter money. I don't I wouldn't give him starter money based on his capabilities. But that that's neither here nor there. Had he, had he never been cut from the 49ers and he never knelt, had he never knelt, he would have had a backup job or a place to compete job the next year, no doubt. Yes. No okay. doubt in my okay. mind. Okay. I can I can buy that. I can buy that. So, 
Um, Matt Miller, uh, no, sorry, Dam- uh, Damian said Rudolph hit Miles in the balls. Um, oh, yeah. No, he definitely kicked him in the nuts. Yeah. I mean, that's... 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's quite the same. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I Matt Miller said uh, no one else heard the, the slur that Garrett heard, and Garrett didn't come out and say it until, like, three weeks later. So, like... Well, he was trying to not bring it up, but he, then he got to a point where he had to defend himself, so he said it. And the yeah. no one else heard, yeah. I, I will speak to that. I will defend my boy on that. I haven't been in many fights. I, I know I look like a fighter. I'm not, okay? But almost all of them were when me and the other person were grabbed together really closely. There's a whole lot of shit talking going on in that little conversation, and it's not screaming because you don't have the ability to scream. All your energy is going to punch this guy about the face. Yeah. Okay, your fight or fight, all of your, all of the things in your body are going to, and it's a bunch of grunting. It's a bunch of, you sorry piece of shit, I hope you die. Like, I could easily see where if, you, if you're used to saying that word, then that word's going to slip out at that moment, and only the person that you are face-to-face with is going to hear it. Um, Matt Miller said, you are a thousand percent right, Gary. Talent versus issues, if the talent w- outweighs the issue. Kaepernick, talent-wise, without the issues, is at least a top three quarterback. Uh, or top three backup, sorry. Uh, Jose said Denver offered Cap a job. Um, yeah, I think he met with Denver, um, Seattle, and Baltimore at the time. I yeah, think but I I, those I, are he, the three teams that I know for a fact he met with. I don't remember if there are any more. Matt Miller said they did. Uh, they offered him half of his salary. Um, well, and yeah, that's, because that's he thing. was going to be a backup to Russell Wilson. I mean, that was a... Yeah, and in, in Denver, I mean, he you was can't come be in and take Russ. Oh, now the Denver, I don't, I don't know, but at that point, he's he's competing. He yeah, he wasn't going to get offered starter money day one. He yeah. needed to show he could be there and earn the starting job. Yeah, but he felt he was worth more than that, so he. That's right. He felt, and that's okay. That's yeah, okay. So totally I'm, I'm all for somebody thinking they they're worth more than they are. That's okay. Yeah. Hey, hey the boy still got a shoe deal, man. I'm no, all in. no, and, it, and, it, and it's worked out, and he's made the world. A safer place. I do believe that. I do believe that he's helped people that are. He, that he's are helped. Uh, he's helped progress the conversation. Yeah, and, and that I, is I much absolutely. Needed. He is flawed, a hundred percent. But but I do think that he's he's helped raise awareness to a lot of things. Here's the deal. He first sat his butt on the bench like he didn't give a care in the world during the national anthem, and and some some seal out of San Diego calls him up and says, "Get your butt down here," and he flies down. And he has a heart to heart one on one, and the seal is the one that recommend. Why don't you kneel? It's a sign of reverence. It's a sign of respect. And if he wanted to trash, he wanted to disrespect it, he'd have kept his butt on the bench. But instead, he walked out and he politely took a knee. Yeah, I just if you have a a soldier telling you one of the elite of our elite telling you this is what I think you should do, and he heeded that advice. You don't get to use the soldiers as as weaponizing against him. You just you just no. lose that battle. No, because I'm the, the military to the one that told yeah, him what to do. The military told him what the right way to go about what, this. Was. What the right way to do is. So I just uh, what a, it, it, go ahead. No, it's just how I feel, and it's something I'm not going to ever. I'm not. Gonna, it's going to take a different. I'm going to need new information to change my opinion, and I don't know yeah. any new information. I, I don't know that there will be, and that's okay. Um, I want to close with this comment from Damian Estrada. We'll, we'll get back to Drew Brees and what he said. Uh, again, I don't know that there was anything necessarily wrong. Everybody is allowed to have their own opinions with it. Um, here, first off, uh, Matt Miller it said, uh, Cap would have been the starter. Most likely it would have been him, Mark Sanchez, Trevor Simeon. Um, he said also that seal Nate Boyer went to the University of Texas and played football. Hook him. So, cheers to that. Hook him indeed. Uh, we ain't against Texas by any stretch of the imagination. Although, yeah. uh, although last some of those guys pretty, are, are not big fans. they're pretty ugly to me, so I went in on pretty hard. <laughs> that doesn't mean we hate them forever, Chris. Come on. It worked out. Well, hey, no, that's right. It worked. Listen, I never punched down. That's Texas. <laughs> I never punched. Gary, I told you I don't punch down. Why would uh, I knock on Texas? Let's, let's end the show with this last comment from <laughs> Damian Estrada. Damian said, Breeze lost his Hall of Fame chances. No, no, I didn't. don't think so. Ain't no, that ain't no way. No I don't think so. way. No, I just don't buy no. that whatsoever. No, um, I, I think Breeze is wrong. I don't think Breeze is a hardcore racist. And even if he was, I think the one Hall of Fame that you probably still get into is the NFL. 
Well, I will say this. Matt Miller jumped in and said, O.J. Simpson killed someone. He's in the Hall of Fame. Seriously, Damon. Or Damian. He was, he was in before this. They didn't take yes. him out. No, but they didn't take him out. No, Breeze hasn't gotten in yet. That is a big difference. If you're not in, it is easy to just kind of put your foot by the door and say, we're not letting this guy in. Breeze is a billion percent getting in. A hundred percent, yes. I'll take 100%. all action I can get on that. You got that right. All right, this has been a fantastic conversation today. You guys in the comments, we appreciate you more than you know. Yes. Uh, you drive the conversation, so and, and you help out the show so much, we cannot thank you enough for diving in. Uh, for those of you that listen to the podcast, Leave reviews, leave your comments, questions, etc. cetera. Uh, in those reviews, we will read them on the show for sure. We definitely thank all of you guys for listening and for tuning in every single day. You have been fantastic. Of course, check us out. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Damien wanted to close us out. He said, if Pete Rose isn't in, why shouldn't Breeze? Uh, the Pete Rose situation is a little bit different. A little bit different. So, you know, I, I think Pete Rose should be in, but... Yes. You know, Pete Rose was isn't in 100% because he is a Neanderthal. If you talk to Pete Rose today, he can diagram hitting a baseball more better than anybody that's still coaching baseball right now or playing the game. But outside of that, the the guy is a barbarian. Yeah. He, he's he's pretty nuts. He's pretty nuts. Uh, and I don't know that Drew Brees is that. So no, uh, Breeze is he's just it's it's okay to be wrong. I just wish he wasn't. Yeah, I agree. I think we can get past a big hurdle if we can get past worshiping a piece of cloth. That's that's all. That's all. I think that it would be a long way in taking a major stride forward in this conversation of of what what's going on in our country if we can get over the worship of a piece of cloth and believe more of what it stands for in principle than, than what it physically is. Ben, That's all. Ben I'm not closes. a flag burner. I'm not, I'm not talking. No, of course I'm not. just saying. Yeah. Everybody has their own rights in this country and that's, that's what yeah. makes us great. Yeah. So, so Ben, yeah. uh, Ben closes us out here. He said, Drew Brees won the Walter Payton award just to throw that out there. So, Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. Brees is no, a fantastic no guy. Fantastic guy. Uh, and, and I think he will continue to be so. Even yep, after he gets no done. No doubt. That's right. All right. That will do it for the show. You hadn't seen any breaking news or anything, right? No. Wonderful. All right. We will be back again tomorrow. Again, tomorrow I will be uh, in the office. So we're doing the show at 3 p.m. Central Time, a little earlier than usual. If you would all, please set your times, set your alarms, and be sure to join us. Then make sure you are subscribed on the podcast. Leave a nice review, a nice comment. Uh, you can toss questions in there. We will read them on the show. It'll help drive the conversation the same way that you guys in the chat do. You have all been wonderful, as always. Uh, oh, tunicatravel.com. Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Find all the information about the reopening over at tunicatravel.com. Find us at winningcureseverything.com. And again, as always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.